hope your day is going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Today I get the pleasure of sharing with you a project. We're using some brand new items over at the Simon Says Stamp Shop. This is part of their Just For You release. Um, there's lots more to the release and to celebrate it, Simon is having a blog hop and I hope you can join us for this blog hop. There's lots more inspiration and there's a giveaway to go along with it. The link for um, the blog hop is down below. If you want to start at Simon's uh, blog, I always suggest starting at the beginning that we don't miss out on any inspiration, <laughs> but I'll leave both my blog and the Simon's blog down below. Let's jump in and create a card with a few new items. I'm excited to try out the brand new scissors. These are positively everyday scissors. And these um, look like they have a very comfy handle and it looks like there's there are no stick surface. So we're going to be using these. Pretty neat. They're a good size scissor too. They're, pro let's see, they are about six and a half inches, almost seven inches long. So a good size scissors. We'll try these out today. Um, for my focal point, we're going to be using a brand new die. This is the Mushroom House. This is a layering die. Let me show you. This is, it's a pretty good size. I love that Simon always indexes the size of the die on the front of the, the package. But you get the mushroom top, um, two of them actually, one can layer on the very, very top. And then you get the little, uh, the stem of the mushroom. I think they're called stems. <laughs> and then you get the little uh, door that opens and closes. So there's a little kinetic motion to that. <laughs> We're going to be using this for our card. And then for my sentiment, I'm going to use you be using some sentiment strips. This is the friendship sentiment strips. And I believe that there is, this is the white, and I believe that there is a reverse. The reverse meaning that there's um, black cardstock with a white print. So I'm going to jump in and get started. We're going to start by taking our die and doing a little, a little bit of die cutting. I'm going to take some craft card stock and we'll die cut out one mushroom set with craft and we'll also die cut out one mushroom set um, with white card stock. Now while we're die cutting I'm going to take a piece of white card stock and using my rounded double stitched rectangles I'm going to create a card front panel with that as well. Um, since we're creating a little scene with our mushroom house, I wanted to bring in a little bit of greenery. So to do that, I'm going to be using another Simon die. This is the Fine Petal Leaf Branches die. I'm just going to use this one here. I think this is going to add some fun greenery around our image and then there's etched detail in this also. So I'm going to grab two pieces of green cardstock, a light and a dark. And I will die cut out a couple light greens and a couple dark greens. And I believe that's all the die cutting we're going to do. I will finish up and then I will be right back. My die cutting is all done. So now we have a home to put our mushroom. And then we have some fun greenery. We'll put this off to the side. We're going to work on our mushroom first. Now I know I want the craft card stock as my mushroom base and I also want this bottom portion which there's etched detail in here you can see there. It's really pretty. That's going to go underneath here. So we won't need that one. We won't need the red but I do want a red door. So you see how this opens and closes. What I'm going to do is use my scissors and I'm going to just cut that door out. <laughs> I'll punch these out here also. Now we have a little red door. <laughs> and then I am going to use this piece here for my mushroom top. So basically our mushroom is going to look like that. Now to me that looks a little plain and we're going to do a little doctoring up, of course. First I'm going to take this along with my background panel and I'm going to bring in a embossing folder. I'm using one from Spellbinders. This is called the Party Spots. And we are going to add some polka dots to our background. 
And I'm also going to add polka dots, an embossed polka dot, to the very top of our um, mushroom cap. I'm going to run this through my embossing machine and I'll be right back. So this is what the party spots look like. And then we have some um, dimension on the, the top of our mushroom. Now I'm going to go one step further with this and I'm going to add some, I'm going to use my stamp and stencil mat, place that on there. And I'm going to use my distress ink, this is Picket Fence, and I'm going to go over those polka dots with my white ink. Wonderful. I think that looks really playful. And it gives us dimension too. I'm going to give this a second to dry. And in the meantime, I'm going to take our mushroom top I put my craft mushroom on my my mat here and I'm going to add a little bit of ground espresso to the bottom. I want it really heavy on that that bottom area. Kind of fade up. I think that's going to work out great. And then I want to add a little bit of shading heavier here on the right side. And then a little bit on the left here. Okay. And I think that looks really good. And this cleans up really well with soap and water. So I love that. Um, I think the darker inks do, does stain the mat, but it, other than that, it does clean up really well with soap and water. Okay, I have my mushroom. And what we're gonna do is take our, our scissors. Actually, these are a little bit too big to fit in between here. You see how there's um, etched lines in here. I want to use my detail scissors and I'm going to cut a few slits. There's so many different ways that you can create with the mushrooms. You can make a tall mushroom. You can make a short stubby mushroom. You can uh, put the mushroom, um, the base of the mushroom on the outside. Oh, that kind of looks really good. But what I'm going to do is tuck it in underneath here. So to do that, I'm going to use my scissors and we'll just, there's just two little areas where you would just nip it open, you see? And I'm going to do this side over here also. There we go. So now we have a slit and then I can actually put my mushroom top right on the inside. I'm going to add a little bit of using my tape runner. We're going to adhere that at the very top. I'm going to go ahead and take my mushroom top, add some tape behind it, and we'll tack this down in its home right on the very top area of our mushroom. And it lines up beautifully. And then we have a fun little mushroom. Next I'm going to take my little door. I'm going to add some adhesive behind here. And we're going to tack this red door right over the craft door. And then there is our little mushroom house. For my background, I'm going to bring back my embossed panel and we're going to do a little bit of um, distressing along the edges. I'm going to use, first, I'm going to use antique linen and I want to add a, oh, that's not antique linen. 
<clears throat> First, we're going to add antique linen. I made a mistake and grabbed my black soot dauber. So, but no worries. We're going to bring in black soot anyway. So I'm going to add a little bit of color here on the edges. A little bit of light color. Well, this is nice not having inky fingers with the craft mat. <laughs> okay, after we have antique linen, I'm going to bring back my ground espresso. And then we're going to go around the edges here with ground espresso. And then in certain areas, that's where my black soot ink comes in. I want to just add a little extra darkness in some areas. kind of alternating and I think that looks great I'm gonna go ahead and take this panel and we're gonna adhere this on our card front for my card today I have a red card base and we'll just flip this around add some adhesive We will tack this right in the front. And we'll place this right in the middle. Actually, we're going to place this a little bit towards the upper part of our card because I want to put my sentiment right below. Let's do that right now. Let's trim down our sentiment. Let's pick a sentiment here. And I think I'm going to, I think I like wishing we were together since it's an empty, a little empty mushroom house. I think that would go really cute. Wishing we were together. So let's trim this down. I think that's just be just below the mushrooms a good spot I think. Now I'm going to take our greenery and for this we're just going to add some adhesive and we're going to do a little tucking with this. Wonderful. And it, just so my door doesn't close all the way, I kind of like it to where it's kind of propped open a little bit. I'm going to bring in a small foam square. And these, this one here is from Simon. And it's, um, they're not very thick. Let me show you. Like the normal ones that I use are this thick. It's about... I don't know if you can tell, but the thickness is about half of this. So I like that. Just one of these will hold that door open. Now we're almost done. I think I'm not, I'm thinking I want a little bit of sparkle, but not too much. So I have some iridescent gem, um, iridescent bubbles. I thought these were kind of playful. And I don't remember where I got these. <laughs> but I know I used them a lot. And I think we'll add a couple here. Okay, 
that will finish off my card for today. I hope you get a chance to check out the brand new um, Just For You release. And I hope you get to join us for the blog hop. Um, and again, there is a giveaway to go with it. And lots of inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye.